Hi, my name is Dr. Ranj Singh and I'm an NHS doctor and a media medic. I'm going to take you through a series of common medical questions that people often ask me. In this video, we're going to talk about blood clots after surgery. Now, blood clots after surgery tend to develop in the deep veins of the body and that's why they're known as deep vein thrombosis. They can present with symptoms such as swelling or pain in one of the limbs. And in rare instances, they can cause breathing difficulties because they spread to the lungs and cause something called a pulmonary embolism. Some people have risk factors for developing blood clots. For example, if you've had a previous history of blood clots, or you've got a family history of blood clots, or you've got a genetic condition that predisposes you to them. Other risk factors include obesity, certain medications like taking the oral contraceptive pill, smoking, and especially after things like surgery or being immobile for a long period of time. Now warning signs to look out for are if you develop pain in one of your limbs, if it swells up, or if it changes colour, it may go red or pale, or if it changes temperature, it may go warm or cold. And certainly if you develop any breathing difficulties, then you should seek help immediately. Fortunately, there are some things that we can all do to prevent blood clots happening. First and foremost, it's a good idea to try and lose weight if you are overweight and to stop smoking. If it is appropriate, you may need to consider stopping the oral contraceptive pill or hormone replacement therapy if you're on it. Now after your operation, it's important to stay well hydrated. It's important to be as mobile as you can and if you can't be fully mobile, then make sure you do ankle exercises. And also make sure you use the compression stockings that you may have been given, for example, things called TEDs, which are surgical stockings that you wear after an operation. And they're designed to encourage the blood flow in your legs. Now, you may be given blood thinning medication, uh, which you should make sure you use that appropriately and at the right dose. And also, you may be given a compression device, which is also important to use if you've been shown how to do that. And finally, whilst you're recovering after an operation, try not to go for any long distance travel or any situations where you may be immobile for a long period of time. And always remember, if you think you've got signs of a blood clot, or indeed if you've got breathing difficulties in association with that, make sure you seek help and see a doctor as soon as possible. And that is how you prevent a blood clot after surgery.